Hi, Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to draw a lovely little sushi roll with his friend Wasabi. So find something to draw with and something to color with, and let's make some art. To begin our sushi roll, we're going to draw the little inside cucumber bits or what have you nots by drawing some little rectangles. So we're gonna draw some narrow rectangles and whatever you want to be inside your, your sushi roll, you're gonna add some little shapes to indicate those fillings. Great. Next, we're going to add some other lovely fillings. Maybe it's some California crab filling, whatever. I'm just using some different squiggly lines to add that around my sushi roll and the inside. And now we need to add a layer of seaweed. So I'm gonna draw one oval around my fillings. And then I'm going to draw a second one, but it's going to be thin along the top. And as I bring it around, I'm gonna go farther away. So that way it looks thicker, closer to the viewer. And to create the illusion of depth, we want it to be nice and thin in the back. So I'm gonna bring it nice and wide around and I'll slow down as I do the back here. Great. Next, we're gonna do the rice top. So we're gonna have slightly bumpy lines and I'm gonna do the rice to complete the top of my cute little sushi roll. Okay, so there's the top of my sushi roll. Now we need to do the body. So I'm gonna do two lines with my little bumpy lines going down. So my parallel lines going down. Remember there's no one way to do lines. You can make them really bumpy along the bottom where it's kind of sitting on the ground there. Now we need to give our sushi roll a face. So before we do that, I'm gonna add some texture lines on the top. And now we can do a face. So we're gonna do two circles on either side of the roll. Okay, so these are the eyes. And in each eye, we're gonna do one large circle and two small circles. Now, you can color in the eyes so it's nice and dark, and you can use black, but you can also use colors. So you do what you like. give our sushi roll a little mouth. So one line across between the eyes is nice and between the eyes there to make it extra, extra cute. And now we're gonna draw a letter U right underneath. Oh, great job. Okay, now from the top corner, we're gonna draw a nice sweeping curving line across for the tongue. We're also gonna add some little cheeks on our roll, so under each eye, we're gonna draw an oval. Just like that. Now we're gonna color in the rest of the mouth. Finally, we need to add some texture for rice around the roll. So we're just gonna add some bumpy or wavy lines. 
and voila. Now, our sushi roll looks kind of lonely, so we're gonna give him a little friend named Wasabi. So we're gonna make a wavy looking triangle and give it a wavy bottom. Now we're gonna draw a face, so on either side of your wasabi, we're gonna draw two circles, and then you're gonna carefully cover, color most of it in, leaving a little white circle in the middle. And wasabi is super happy to be hanging out with sushi today, so we're gonna make, give him a nice, wide, happy face, but for the tongue, we're gonna draw a little letter M inside of the mouth and then you can color in the background. That way it's a little bit different. We also gotta give some texture to wasabi so we're gonna draw some curving lines down. Just like that. Finally, we need to add our final detail which is the soy sauce. So we're gonna add a puddle of soy sauce just underneath our little friends, just like that. And now we're gonna add some spots or some curving triangles in the sauce. And that will be for the glare of light to make it look shiny. Great, it looks like we are ready to color. Okay, so for this drawing, I'm gonna use some felt markers and um, wax crayons to color, but you can use whatever you have. So we're gonna start off by coloring the tongues in both our friends' face. I'm going to use a green felt marker to color in my cucumber. And the seaweed. And I will darken up that seaweed with a little bit of blue in a bit. Okay, I'm gonna add, color these little circles orange. We're just about ready to do pencil crayon, sorry, wax crayon for the rest. So I'm gonna use a pink wax crayon and I'm gonna color in the little cheeks on my sushi roll. I'm going to use, actually I think we'll use a brown felt marker for the sauce and then we'll shade it with black. I'm gonna use two different um, greens. I'm gonna use a yellow green and a normal green for my wasabi, and I'm gonna do it in stripes. So I'm gonna go green with my green wax crayon. Then I'm gonna color yellow green. Then we're gonna switch back. We're gonna color with green. 
and then yellow green. So that way it looks like it has some shading and it makes it a little bit more visually interesting. We're gonna use our black wax crayon and we're gonna add some shadows on the soy sauce. So underneath the sushi roll, underneath our little wasabi friend. So cute. Actually, we can give a little bit of shading around its eyes. Oh, so cute. Okay. You can also add some shading around the curving parts of the sauce. So it has some three-dimensional aspects to it. Wonderful. And just underneath it as well. Great. Okay, so we're gonna add some details now to the roll. So we're gonna add some color in the filling here. I'm gonna use some browns, a little bit of red. I'm just mixing up some colors. A little bit of greens. You can do whatever you want. Rolls are filled with all kinds of things, so you can add whatever makes you happy. I'll add a little bit of pink in here. Wonderful. We're gonna add some shading to the rice with some brown around the edge of the, where the seaweed and the rice meet. And underneath here as well. You can add it a little bit down the sides. Not too much though. And then we're gonna switch to gray. So I'm gonna do, actually we'll switch to black here. Just a little bit of black. I'm barely, barely touching the paper because black is quite dark. So we're gonna shade underneath there and along the sides. And then I wanna shade around the eyes. and the mouth and if you want we can um like i said we can use some black to shade in here and i can press a little bit darker and we want to make the weed a little bit darker so we're going to add some blue wax crayon on top and that will darken it so cute. Now, if you want, you can add a little bit of highlights to your sushi roll. So I can use a white pencil crayon to add some visual interest or some highlights around the mouth, on the sauce. I can't color on wax crayon with pencil crayon. It will not stick. So just anywhere you have felt marker, you can use your white pencil crayon. And just like that, your lovely little sushi roll is done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers! Find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.